Hey everyone, so today we're going to do a test fill with Icy Hot using the oil setup. So basically, uh, normally when we do this setup here, we tell you to use a, a bigger tubing than what we're doing and a bigger nozzle to get more volume out per pump. But let me go ahead and just start this run. I'll kind of talk to you about it. So you can see we're running the pump at basically a fill volume of 300 and a fill speed of 1000. Um, you can see the pump is having issues put pumping it out because it is a high viscosity. We are using that smaller tubing and smaller nozzle, which makes everything super hard to use. Um, you can see in there we just filled just a little drop. Here, I'll run it one more time here. So you can see this isn't a good setup. Um, it's not working very good, so you got to definitely go to that bigger tubing and a bigger nozzle. Well, that was 2019. As of uh, today or yesterday, it is now 2020, and we now have a new technology that battles this and makes uh, filling high viscosity fluids as if you were filling water. What I'm going to do is basically pause this video and switch over to that new technology and show you the difference. Okay, so I switched it over, and what it is basically is it's a stage that happens before the peristaltic pump. It basically replaces your holding tank. So now your product's going to touch a stainless steel holding tank with the technology built in, the peristaltic uh, tubing, which is FDA approved, and the nozzle. That's it. So cleaning stays basically virtually the same, except you'll be uh, cleaning our holding tank versus yours. Um, so there's how much we filled in two cycles of this icy hot you can see it is super thick um, let's go ahead and without further ado let it see how it fills with the new technology all right so you've, right away you can see a big difference um, we have it set at 300 so basically we're gonna fill about 250 275 mls um, in probably less than 15 seconds here uh, you can see the difference. So there's what we filled before the technology. There's what we filled after. With this technology, it was with two cycles. Here's with after, with it being scaled in, everything like that. Um, the reverse fill actually will still work. Let me plug that in here. And you can see the settings are the exact same. I'm going to increase the reverse fill to probably 15. And let me go ahead. I'm going to run this again. Um, let me pan over here so you can see our fill volume is still 300, fill speed 1,015. These are the exact same settings I ran uh, previously. So this is pretty much a game changer for any of you guys that are running up topicals or high viscosity fluids. Um, we don't think any type of lotions are going to be too big of an issue anymore. Any gels like Icy Hot, anything like that. We are um, making this happen on... The, the oil set up here so that way you can start filling these thicker fluids into smaller containers uh, dispensing needles could keep getting smaller tubing can keep getting smaller uh, that way you could keep getting more and more precise fills uh, this is a great thing I'll let it run one more time and let you guys go uh, one thing I did want to kind of show here is you can kind of see it pyramiding up and so when you start getting to small containers that could become an issue uh, how we combat that is basically we we attach an uh, automatic z-axis so it's going to automatically go up and down and what that'll do is basically start filling your product from the bottom and as it's filling the nozzle is going to go up too as it's filling so that way you get a nice consistent fill and you won't have that uh, that pyramiding happen with your fluids. Um, everyone enjoy their 2020, and if you have any questions on this, please go to www.rockymountainplc.com. We'd be more than happy to help you out. Thanks, guys.